When it comes to weight painting, mirroring does not need an introduction. Your typical rig is usually symmetrical or kinda symmetrical and as you edit weights on one side, you need a way to copy them over to the other side. Let's have a look at how you do this in NG Skin Tools. So first let's have a look at what you'll end up using most of the time in version 2. You just paint on one side and the other side automatically updates. And that's it, you don't need to push any mirror button or go into bind pose. That's not needed. But yeah, this was all possible in the previous version of NG Skin Tools. The coolest part now is that mirroring is now non-destructive if you use it as a layer effect. Layer effect, so what does that mean? If I go into display options and uncheck the show layer effects, we can now see the original non-mirrored version of our layer. These are the weights that we are actually editing. It only contains weights for the left side. And in, in the influences list, because I have turned the option show used influences only, I can only see left joints. To actually turn on the effect, we have to go to the effects tab. We can see that for this layer I enabled mirror effect on influences weights and layer mask. And by turning these on, our layer will now be mirrored in the background each time we update weights to it. So this is the original layer, this is where we paint weights, and this is the mirrored version which we can preview, and this is what is actually used when layer is added to the skin cluster. So mirroring things this way gives us some great benefits. First, we can always go back to the mirroring settings and tweak them after we paint weights. So if things don't map quite the way you want them, let's say influences don't map correctly from left to right, or vertices catch unwanted values, you can always go back and readjust the configuration. We'll get to settings in a bit and you'll see this in action. Second, it's a bit hard to notice at first, but you have a much cleaner result in the middle on the symmetry plane. The mirroring algorithm does not use a sharp edge to separate left side vertices and right side vertices. Instead, the two sides are blended with a fall off. And because it's all done procedurally, the center seam gets perfectly balanced between left and right. And of course, like always in NG Skin Tools, we don't need to go to buy and pose for mirroring to work. Uh, the plugin is smart enough to do the mirroring while your model is in any pose. So that's mirroring effect. It doesn't take much to enable it, and in my opinion, it's the superior way to mirror weights in NG Skin Tools now. Mirror settings. So to get mirror to work well with your rig, you'll often need to spend a bit of time making sure that you configure two things. Influences mapping and vertices mapping. So when you mirror weights, what you want to happen, for example, is that weights on left vertices for the left shoulder, so let's say these vertices for this joint, you want them to become weights for these vertices for this joint. So the job of influences mapping is to say that this joint corresponds to this joint and the responsibility of vertex mapping is to say that this vertex or to be exact this vertex should copy weights from this location this vertex from this location and this vertex from that location some joints will map to themselves like anything in the middle so spine joints will be a good example. So these ones will map to themselves. Uh, let's say if this is the middle, then this vertex and this vertex will have the same weight for the spine joint. Let's look at influences mapping first. So NG Skin Tools will try to do its best to guess which joints correspond to which ones, but if the default options don't work for your specific rig, Here's how to configure it. Go to Mirror tab and in Influences Mapping section, click Preview and Edit Mapping. 
This opens up a new window, which looks scary at first, but don't worry, it's not complicated. On the right side here we see our joints hierarchy. And for each of them we see a corresponding joint. For example, left arm corresponds to right arm. If you double click any item, it will highlight the corresponding item. It's a small trick for troubleshooting. Some destinations will be displayed as self. This means that the joint maps to itself. In this rig, spine and neck joints are the case, and that's logical, because you want spine weights for the left vertices to be assigned to the same joints on the right vertices. You'll also see that some items are marked as not in skin cluster, and they're here in this view just because they are part of the hierarchy. The third column displays which rule was used to create the match. So we can see that leg joints were matched from left to right using name rule. Let's have a look at those rules. The rules control how the joint mapping is calculated. The most basic rule is matching by position. The algorithm is very simple. For each joint, let's take this one as example. The rule creates the um, position on the other side and then looks for a closest joint in that vicinity. And the tolerance describes how far the lookup will happen. This is how Maya maps joints when mirroring weights with standard tools. And the drawbacks here is that if you have joints stacked on top of each other, let's say you would have a twist joint and a structure joint on the same position, the mapping using this algorithm does not work that well. The other rule that we can enable is matching by name. Any self-respecting rigger will have some sort of naming convention in their rig, and in here it will be very useful. So for this rig you can see uh, some joints are named with the uh, R and L prefix, while in other joints the prefix oh, the side indicator is in the middle of the name so we tweak the patterns saying that anything with a prefix l should map to something which has a similar name but with a prefix r and the same is for if there is a l in the middle it should map to a corresponding joint which has the R in the middle. And if you look into the resulting mapping, you'll see that most of the pairs were resolved by name rule. So having a consistent uh, naming scheme between your left and right, left and right side joints is very useful to have. Matching by joint label is similar to matching by name. If you label your joints, uh, this rule will pair up matching labels. There is no name pattern matching for them. The labels must match exactly. This rig does not use labels, but to demonstrate, I labeled these two joints with the label arm1, and this is reflected in the mapping where these two joints were mapped using the label rule. One more option that is more situational for most is being able to match by dependency graph links. I won't go into details of this here, but in short the idea is that if you build your rig with message connections between corresponding joints, you can use this metadata here. So the rules we looked at are evaluated from top to bottom. So for example, if a joint is matched by name, then it won't be considered when matching by position. That's it for influences mapping, let's look at vertex mapping. So just like with influences, we need to tell NG Skin Tools how left side vertices are mapped to the right side vertices. And almost all the time you will want to use closest joint on surface option, which is a simple match by vertex coordinates. It's not a one-on-one -on -one match, uh, so if you have mismatched topology on each side, you can still paint quite symmetrically, it's not a big deal. However, 
there are situations where matching by position does not work well because of how the model is created. So let's have a look at this. We'll look at the lip. What we have here is because the mesh is asymmetrical slightly and lips are sealed tight at bind pose. The mapping for some vertices is off and we get this artifact. So how can we fix this? One new feature in V2 is being able to provide a symmetry mesh. We can give any mesh with matching topology, but without symmetry and overlap problems. And NG Skin Tools will use that mesh to figure out the left and right side association. So let's try this. Uh, we click Create. And this creates as a small rig with our input mesh. And now we can start tweaking around this model, solving for overlaps and asymmetry issues. So I'll open up the lip slightly. And if you look at the corners, they're also not that well aligned. We don't need to make the shape pretty like a blend shape. We only want to end up with a model that matches its own flipped version as best as possible and does not have overlaps or asymmetry issues. Once we're happy, let's go back to our main rig and see if it makes any difference. Currently, as I'm recording, the mirror is not updated automatically, so we'll need to nudge NG Skin Tools a little bit by disabling the layer and enabling again. And now, as you can see, the lip issue is solved. This is because in our rig, the vertices on this side now have a clear path to resolve to which vertices they need to map on the right side. So that's all I wanted to cover for mirror this time. If you don't want to use mirror effect, just remember that you can always just uh, use mirror directly in the mirror tab. When you click mirror, this updates weights directly in the layer and all the configuration is the same that we just covered. Also in the paint tab, I have this option, interactive mirror, which kind of achieves the same feel as the mirror effect, meaning that as you paint weights, they will get updated on the other side. But this is just like the mirror button, it updates weights directly in the layer itself. And don't forget layers. One very common thing people ask, how to mirror some parts and leave other parts untouched? And my answer is layers. Mirroring is performed per layer. So if you need to introduce some symmetry, just create a, another layer on top and put your symmetrical weights in there, like this. I hope this was useful. Have fun painting and mirroring your weights and I'll see you in the next bit, hopefully sooner than later. Bye for now.